to see you leave, so why are you going? My only good enough for you when we're alone. Nobody's perfect, but it feels like this thing. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna start this makeup look. I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just going in and color correcting my face and all the dark areas with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector. And I'm gonna put that everywhere that I have dark marks. Then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Go With The Glow Hello Halo Highlight. And I'm going to put that everywhere that I want to be highlighted. I like using this because it gives you a more skin-like glow. And then you don't have to add too much foundation. I'm going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on my NARS Radiant Foundation in the color Marquises. I'm going to put that everywhere that I put my orange corrector, but I'm not going to put it under my eyes. Then I'm going to just blend that in, blend around it, and then blend into it. Once you do that, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm going to put that everywhere that I want to be highlighted. Colors and be changed or have other secrets, a world in which the past would have little or no place. Then go right above that with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand, the same routine that I always do. And then I'm going to blend it with my sponge. Now I'm going to go on my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Earth and I'm going to put that everywhere that I want to be contoured. For the sound of men going forth to their work, for the sigh and sob of the wind coming down from the hills and wandering round the silent house as though it feared... And I'm going to use the back of my, my beauty blender and I'm going to buff that into my skin. This gives you a more skin-like type of texture. Then I'm going to blend my nose using this brush. I did go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I just set under my eyes and then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup and finish baking. Okay, so once I do that, I'm just gonna, I'm just setting the rest of my face with the Sasha Buttercup and now I'm gonna go ahead and buff in the areas of my face that have the Sasha Buttercup, but I'm gonna leave under my eyes since I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. So 
So I'm starting off using my James Charles palette. You guys already know I hate this palette, but I actually love the earth tones in it. So I'm going to be using this burnt orange shade and I'm going to pack that into my crease and just pack this, pat it in until it's buildable and then you're going to blend out. That's going to be the easiest way for you to get this eyeshadow look without it being too all over the place. then just lightly blend it out and you could pack and blend as much as you need to until you have that pigmentation that you're going for Then I'm going to go ahead and use my Juvia's Place Warrior Palette and I'm going to use this copper type of tone and I'm going to put that right in the middle of the eye. I'm just patting it onto the eye. I'm not like using no special thing. I'm not wetting it or anything. Just pat that eyeshadow onto the eye and it's going to look like that. And then just blend it, blend the top area and just keep going back and forth until it's how you want it to look. Then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Paint Pot in the color Park Ave, Park Ave Princess. And I'm just going to use this with my finger and swipe it onto my eye. This is very pigmented, so I love this. This like gives you a very nice metallic look. So I was like, ooh. And this is literally the look. So simple and easy. Anybody could do this. If it's your first time even doing makeup, I recommend trying this for a more bold classy look because it's super easy to do and you can get this with any type of eyeshadows but i really recommend that tart one because it's like wow look how pigmented it is and i'm using a smaller more detailed brush just to add back that burnt orange shade to the front and then use a smaller detail brush just to put that tart paint pot in my tear duct And this is how the eyeshadow looks. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll come back and talk to you guys. Sunday vibes, Tuesday night, underneath the covers, yeah, you do me right. Tell me all your secrets and the things you like, never want to let me get out of your sight. Skin to skin, listening, kind of like the stars tonight. The way they shine reminds me of the shade of blue that's in your eyes. I see them better when we're in the light. You know, I hate to see you leave, so why you go? all right you guys so now that i'm done this is how the eyes are looking and i'm just blending in some of the under eyes just to make sure that everything is being pulled together and this is how it looks and then i'm just brushing out my eyebrows and i'm going to buff in my sasha buttercup powder under my eyes i'm not swiping it away i'm buffing it into the skin because i recently i haven't been liking to i don't like setting my face recently so i just like buffing it in and leaving it like this i'm going in with this lash paradise mascara and i'm going to put on some mascara on my bottom lashes i really should have put some on my top lashes but i put it on after i put my lashes on and it was just a mess so don't even pay attention to my lashes this is how it's looking i didn't even get to show you guys my lipstick but I'm doing my regular lip combination, so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna link my lip combo video in the eye above, so you guys can check that out. I'm using my same um, contour palette by Black Radiance, and these are my lashes. If you want to shop them, I will have them linked down below. I have a limited amount available. You know I hate to see you leave, so I go. And now I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Warrior Palette 
Is it the Warrior palette? I think so. It's the Masquerade palette. Something, y'all. This is the same thing I always do, and I'm using that as a blush. I'm going to try to put all the products I'm using in my description box so you guys can check it out there. And this is how it's looking. Come around. I don't want to be someone and I'm just going to put on my lashes and this is the end look. Let me know if you guys like it and if you're going to try it out. If it's your birthday, the person that told me I should do like a birthday type look. Let me know if you like this and if you're going to try it for your birthday. I hope your birthday didn't pass. If you've seen, if you guys haven't checked out my last video of how I did this hair, please check it out so you guys can try doing this look. I think this is gorgeous. It's amazing. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. It really helps me and don't forget to thumbs up because YouTube has been shadow banning my channel, I believe. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm still going to post so make sure you thumbs up so i know that you guys like this video and it helps me be encouraged to do more all right you guys bye thank you for watching